ChatGPT has opened everyone's eyes to the power of AI. The speed at which information is accessed, ideas are generated, and content is created has led to a host of suggestions that AI is going to either replace everyone's jobs or make everyone wealthy without having to lift a finger. The truth is, in part, both. But there has to be someone to tell ChatGPT what to do. The user needs to know what it can do and how to do this. In this video, we're going to cover 12 things that ChatGPT can do that are genuinely useful and will provide benefit to most people. For example, whilst ChatGPT can create and check code for the creation of apps and websites, this is not genuinely useful to the average person. So let's get started. And if you like this video, just smash that like button. Let's get started. Okay, number one is research. And when I say research, I mean specific researching. You can ask it very specific questions and it will actually answer it. So rather than searching Google and sifting through loads of websites, you can ask very specific questions and get a specific answer. So you can see in this example, I've asked who Steve Job was and to tell me what his career highlight was. So it's gone through and it's given me a couple of paragraphs where it's telling me about Steve Jobs. And at the end, it's going to give me a paragraph which tells me what his career highlight was, which you can see it is telling me it was the iPhone. This is really powerful. Number two is the generation of ideas. You need an idea, you can ask ChatGPT to come up with a series of ideas. And it doesn't matter what the subject matter is, uh, it will come up with lots and lots of ideas. Now, keeping with the theme of Steve Jobs, which we will follow through this entire video, I've asked for ideas for books uh, that I could write on Steve Jobs and his impact on the world. And you can see that it's straight away started creating me lots and lots of ideas, okay? And it's not just coming up with the title, okay? It's coming up with what the idea, what the book could be about. So you can see the first one, you know, this book could examine X, Y, and Z. It's coming up with lots of ideas that will take me a long time uh, to put all of this together. So number three is brainstorming. So we know that when we come up with ideas, we need to really bounce these ideas off of other people to really kind of work out what the best ideas are, you know, come up with some other golden nuggets. And this is one of the things that we can utilize ChatGPT for. We can come up with ideas or we can ask it for ideas like we just did. And then we can ask it questions where you can interrogate the information it's provided. So you can see here, I've said, which is the best idea and why? And it's given me a reason. It said it's difficult, but this is what we think would be better. And then I followed that up by saying, you know, if I was to write this book, okay, that you've suggested, what struggles might I encounter? And it's coming up with a whole host of, you know, problems that I might have. So I can take these on board and help me really brainstorm the ideas, maybe go back and change it, come up with another idea until I get an idea that I'm really happy with. Okay, so building upon what we just spoke about, number four is explain. So I might need that I need to do something, but I might not know how to do it. There may be ideas and concepts I don't quite grasp. And instead of searching the web or watching countless videos to try and understand this, I can ask ChatGPT to explain how to do something. Tell me what I need to do to achieve this goal and it will do it. So again, you can see I've asked it to explain the steps required to write and sell a best-selling book. It's so not just write a book to write a best-selling, and it's going through the steps, you know, do the research, come up with the angle, write the narrative, edit and revise, secure the agent, build buzz. You know, it's coming out of all the steps that I need. Again, this is a really, really powerful tool. Number five is to ask it to take an opinion and then provide you with information from that stance or belief. Now, this is incredibly powerful to uh, replicate someone else's opinion, enable to argue both points, to provide you with information or an article from a certain type of person that has certain views, has certain experience, has certain job uh, from a certain part of the world. 
uh, has certain beliefs and provide you with information from someone else's point of view. You can see in this in this one, I've asked it to create me some content based upon Steve Jobs and that uh, you know Macs are better than PCs, and it, this is exactly what it's done. Right. So number six is outlines. So you can ask it to create an entire outline of a project, of a book, of a course, a meal plan, even a trip to somewhere in the world. You can tell it what you're going to do, what you want to achieve, and then it will create the entire outline. You can see for this book that we've been talking about, it's telling me all of the chapters that are necessary to write this book. Number seven is the creation of content. And this is the primary use that many people probably think ChatGPT is going to be useful for, the creation of medium length content. So we're talking about around about 500 words where you can write articles, blog posts, chapters, essays, you know, whatever it might be, around about the 50, 500 word mark. Um, just pose a question, tell it what you want it to write, and it will create it. You've also got the ability here because we've been posing previous questions about certain things in the previous question we asked it to do an outline. I've just said, can you write the introduction to that book? So it's gone back, it knows what it's doing, and then it started to write the introduction to what we've been doing. So it's got some, it's got a brilliant knowledge to remember the conversation that we're having. So number eight is its translating capabilities. Now, this is really, really powerful because you could write something, you could chuck it into uh, Google Translate, whatever, and Google Translate would, you know, word for word, try and replicate it in another language, okay? But it's not going to be fluent. It's not going to be the proper use of that language because it's trying to do it word for word. Using ChatGPT, we can ask it to rewrite something um, for a reader of another language, and it will rewrite that content as if it was writing it the first time. Okay, so it's writing it as it would do in English. This example, I've asked it to write it for the Spanish reader, and it is writing that as if it is natural, uh, and I'd asked it originally to do it in Spanish. And this is really powerful if you want to dub things into other languages, you want to widen your audience into different parts of the world. Right, so the next one is presentations, okay? So you might want to create a presentation that you're gonna give in front of a crowd. You may want to create a presentation that you're gonna give online. You may want to give a presentation that is going to be a YouTube video. So you have the ability to ask ChatGPT to create content in particular style so you can see this example i've asked it to create a three minute video and it's given me an introduction it's going to give me the, the middle and it's going to give me uh, an ending uh, but likewise i could ask it to actually write a script for a specific uh, circumstance that has multiple people in it and it will do that for me it will create the sections uh, with the people's names where they have to speak Right, so big number 10 is social media and the ability to create social media captions. So whether you're building a Twitter profile, whether you've got an Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and you're looking for content that you can post on these are in short form that are going to be catchy and people are going to want to interact and engage with, you can ask it. You can see in my example here, I also asked it to add emojis and it's also thrown in some hashtags as well. So we are ready to go with social. Number 11 is sales copy, copywriting. Now, this is one of those legitimate high ticket skills that if you can master, you're going to be able to make a hell of a lot of money because we've spent thousands on it over the years uh, because it's a really difficult skill to master writing real persuasive text to sell a dream, to sell a concept that goes in line with a specific product. And we can use ChatGPT to do this. And not only can we ask it to write copy about a certain product, we can ask it to use certain frameworks, styles uh, that we think would be appropriate for the product. And the final thing that is really useful that you can use ChatGPT to do is the creation and drafting of 
really professional email. So uh, building upon what we spoke about with sales copy, you know, drafting really good emails is also another high level skill. Now we can use ChatGPT to write emails for any purpose. You know, we might have received an email from our boss or family member or whatever, and we want to write a really cool email that covers all the re relevant points. We can ask ChatGPT to draft that. But also, like with the sales copy, we can ask it to create email copy to build an email list. Okay, so once we've got people at, you know, onto our list as our newsletter, as subscribers, we can ask it to draft these emails, whether they are, you know, providing information, whether they are, you know, selling a product, the continuation of a product. We've got someone to our email list. We then want to sell a specific product. We can set up a five to 10 day email sequence that covers loads of different points that takes the, the email reader from a journey uh, to actually purchase this product. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it of any benefit, all that I ask is that you hit the like button and consider subscribing. See you in the next video.